not applicable to your clientele. So you could say, um, hmm. level, level specific. Yeah, not Real level specific, specific or not clientele well, we specific. On court. <laughs> I should have gotten out, I'm sorry. Put your ball in Gosh, we did one and they brought in the national juniors. And I just think, I just love to be able to teach one of those. That's, but I'll never see that for years. At <laughs> <laughs> AAC. Jeff, what about Todd? Like, I know the guy from Valdosta probably woke up at four in the morning or something, about three in the morning. You know, I don't to know get if that here. would affect people or not. You know, especially if they're coming from far away. Yeah, and I think location will fall in. The travel time. The put a weakness is travel time. Because Atlanta can be tough if you're just coming from South Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> Was it, guys? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go to opportunities. Not that we couldn't add to both of those. What are our opportunities? Say it again. Members of other organizations. Not just PPA members. Just Builds relationships. I've met some pretty cool guys and girls. Opportunities to build network and build relationships. We talked about young pros. How about uh, figuring out how we can do a webinar where they could sign online and still go to it, but be at their facility? Mm. They're doing that. They're doing live streams and live streaming. Live streaming. Yeah. Live streaming while you're over there coloring. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'm live streaming. <laughs> she's still. I'm like, that's going to be Yeah, she's still drawing smiley faces <laughs> and all, really. You can't be doodling while we're doing this, okay? <laughs> live streaming. We're live. It's all right. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. That's very similar to these things. Opportunity for better communication. <laughs> better communication. What's an opportunity that we're not using? We're using email. We're using Facebook. We could we could use those better. <laughs> email, <laughs> Facebook. What else could we use? I mean, would it be practical for people to call, like make a big list, Direct. call everybody, and say, "Hey, you know, we got this seminar." Direct contact. You just signed up for the phone committee. Thanks. <laughs> He's got a list for you. Yeah, you got a long list for you. And you would get a list. I forgot the name of it. What is it? A calling tree. Yeah. Calling tree could be one. Calling post. Okay. You can do e bytes. If you're old like me, I still use that. Mail, yeah, direct mailing. So yes, we did. Other opportunities. What would you all like to see? Let's we talked about getting people here. What would you like to see? I, I think it'd be cool to give. Uh, Every pro from anywhere the opportunity to speak. They did at Southern. They used to do the talk. What five minutes? Was it a five or ten minute talk? And the there was a winner of that. Yes, I think we can do the same thing for our own seminar own court. contest. To let the assistant pros and head pros of different places seminar. Yeah. Dude. What about what about new speakers? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Growing speakers. What about vendors? Like more vendors? I mean, we had the head one, but. Yeah, I think we have to be careful with that a little bit because we need to make sure we use our sponsors yeah. only. That's like would be a good opportunity for you, for young pros, new pros, to maybe do a half an hour of presentation. I mean, just, just 
the baby scorer. You just like, like, like we did three He's off the board. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe for new speakers out in there, have a chance to get up front. That would be perfect. I think everybody, especially the new pros, the younger pros, the ones that are coming into the business, need to get up and learn what it's like to be up here and mess up your words and things and go through what you know. Uh, Jeff, a uh, mentoring program. Mentoring program. Other opportunities. Maybe more options. More options? In other words, like somebody said, wish you had juniors. Potentially, you could have where you choose uh, this part of the facility. You got somebody speaking on juniors. This part of the facility got somebody doing ladies drills. Maybe an opportunity to get some other people here that are more interested. Usually, it's interesting when, it, when the business side of the, the conferences and the seminars. You get the older guys here, the ones that already know it, and it's really should be for the younger ones, girls and guys, the pros that need to be in here listening to it. Yeah, like the consulting idea where you get certain experts in areas, work with a few people at a time, mm -hmm. another area, a bunch of those different ones in a, in a session. Yeah. I don't know if this is an opportunity or a strength. I like it when there's just one group. Because in the past, they've been, they have an on court and then the classroom. And if there's two of them that are, I would like to go to, it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, to, to, to pick and I mean, choose. I know it takes longer and more planning, but I like it. It's just Sometimes that will dilute the, the session that's going on. Okay, and then let's go on to our threats. What are our threats? Loss of, loss of membership. Loss of membership. Aging membership. <laughs> Put that politely. <laughs> we just talked about that, so I have to say that. Yo. Other organizations. Other organizations. I mean, threats are travel, economy, time of the year. I mean, you could kind of go through what our what our real threats are. Any other threats? Loss of revenue? I mean, you could you could write this down forever. Okay, to wrap this up, but that's all on the threats. Go ahead. When you do, when you do threats, do you also classify them sometimes as fears? Because like a lot of people, people will be into different ideas of changing or whatever that is. The fear of the change, he, he yeah. just said, is do you classify things as fears and threats? Yeah, I mean, you can do it that way. We've seen it done that way. There, there are also threats that you're not even in control of. Uh, you know, we're not in control of the economy that we just went through. I'm not in control of the traffic on 141 that prohibits the, the members from coming between 4 and 7 o'clock, you know, because of the traffic. So those types of things you're not, you're not, but that's a threat. You have to work toward is by programming going to change because of the time of the day and the effect that traffic might have on you. That way. Fear is. No, because I think a weakness is controllable. A threat is an outside source putting it on you and keeping you from being, I mean, they can be, don't get me wrong, but I, the way that I look at a weakness is what we're doing internally and how we, it's something that I can control and fix. A threat is not always something that, that I think that I can control and fix. How about pros, resistance to change or improve? Fear of change. Oh, sorry. Do you find that a lot of threats are similar, though? Um, sure. Okay, so a lot of the uh, external uh, pressures are going to be similar, whether it's your tennis program or your club or mm -hmm. our organization or what. Is that correct? Exactly. A lot of threats tend to be similar? Exactly, yeah. What were you going to say? Uh, I was going to say, like, membership. I mean, uh, like, if there's not enough members coming into USDA, then this doesn't get funded. Right. Yeah. The, the whole program, the thirty-five dollar fee will go up. How about um, the fear of having too many programs too similar year after year? 
other words, keeping the program, seeing, the program keeping it fresh. Yeah. Because it's easy to get some of the same speakers again. But yeah. It's about the threat of distraction. The threat of distraction. <laughs> or inability to uh, implement. After you come here, you get fired up, you learn some new things, you leave, you get distracted. Yeah, and that's, now that kind of falls back on you, but to follow up with, again, reach out. I, boy, the last one, I've, I've had more people email me, this was two months ago, that are still staying in contact with me on questions and want the information, so, but I'm not reaching out to them. It's going to take you to go back and be fired up and reach back out to me and that, <laughs> those types of things. What about buy-in? Is that a threat or is buy-in? Buy-in? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Kind of, you're going to buy in and change your life or whatever it is or whatever it could be. Okay, so from here, thank you, that was great. From here, yeah, that's all right, I'm going to go back. What would happen and what should happen is we Good would job, pick Carmen. and grade, thank you, Carmen. We would grade what the top four things are in a weakness that we feel like are, are what we need to work on. And I, you all can call out right now and just give me an idea of what are the top four things on there that you think would be the most important that need to be handled between now and next December. Come on, I know the first one. Communication. Communication. <laughs> that's got to be, that's in everybody's world. Uh, I'd say timing. Okay. And then I think maybe uh, I think the incentive. New pros, yeah. The incentive new pros. Yeah. So what would happen is what we did at the AAC is I take from the committee, they rated them, gave me the top four, and said this is what you need to go back and work on. Opportunities, rate the top four. You go back and you build a program and bring that back to us and show me how you're gonna lay out and take care of those problems. And we'll, we'll start grading Jeff Chanley on how you take care of those weaknesses if we feel like they're in your control. We did it again this past year. Uh, it's five years later, doesn't hurt to do it every two years. We did it again this past year. And the number one, two, and three had to do with food. <laughs> Which I'm totally out of control of. So it's, it's other than making sure they know how many people are there. So it was the opportunity to, to eat at the new pavilion and then Alta Food and some other offerings that way. So I felt pretty good with my new GM because he set in on that. So does that kind of give you an idea of what you do with the SWOT analysis and how you handle it? And then you go back and build a program to address the top four. Once you, once you correct the top four weaknesses, what do you do? You go back and go back to the committee and pick another two or three, the ones that you can handle and keep working your way that way and then do it every so often. And it uh, gives you an opportunity to stay in contact and everybody's working together for the same goal and everybody's on board. You don't have a staff that thinks weakness is one thing or strength is one thing, the committee thinks weakness is the other. So that way. Thank you for letting me come out. That was a little brief, but that was, that. was hopefully that was okay, the exercise. Um, and hopefully you guys will use this uh, moving forward. But thank you for having me.